example, we are evaluating linear velocity to use to use that to find out how far something travels. So it says a bicycle wheel with a radius of 13 inches turns with an angular velocity of 3 radians per second and it wants us to find the distance traveled by the wheel in one minute. In order to do this we need to know a couple of things and so it's giving us an angular velocity of 3 radians per second so if we go ahead and look at angular velocity and we know that that's 3 radians in one second. We can figure out, since we're going by the measurement of one minute, which is how far or how long it's, it's traveling, if we know that it's 3 radians in one second, then we multiply that by 60 seconds. And so we get that total over the course of one minute, it's going to rotate 180 radians. So now that we have the total amount of angle that it travels, we need to find out what that is in distance. Well, we recall that distance around a circle is arc length, and the arc length, or the arc length, or s, is equal to how far it traveled, the angle, theta, times the radius. So since we already have theta, this is going to be equal to our total angle. We'll plug in what we know. Since it's a radius of 13, we'll multiply that times 180. And that's going to give us 2,340. 2,340 inches. And since we don't really want to measure in inches, that's kind of an impractical measurement. We don't really know how far that is relative to anything. Um, we can convert that to feet. So if there are 2,340 inches, and we multiply that by, we put 12 on the bottom so that our units cancel and that's one foot on top. That's going to give us 195 feet. And that's how far our wheel travels.